What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer. Today, I'll be talking about two pretty forgotten U.S. Men's National Team strikers, Josh Sargent and Daryl D.K. Both of them are going to be in the championship for a full season this year, and I think both of them have a very good chance to break back into the national team and really make something happen ahead of the World Cup. Because right now, the striker position is a huge question mark. Nobody has really grabbed the reins of that position and made it their own. Uh, Pepe, he's been in and out of form. Hayes Ferrer has really not impressed against any good opposition. P. Falk hasn't taken his opportunity, same with Taji Wright. And while I, there are a lot of players who I'd like to give chances to, Josh Sharton and Gerald DK have a great chance to really make this position their own because the championship is a pretty high level of op, of competition. I'd say only Jordan P. Falk in the Bundesliga is playing is going to be playing against tougher opposition. And both of them, if they get scoring a lot, and if they're playing in huge form, it's going to be tough to deny them a place on the team. And the first one I want to talk about is Josh Sargent because I feel like he has a realistic shot at making the team. Because uh, Josh Sargent, last year, well, he wasn't good. Something I want to put in context is his two goals last year was better than Josie Outdoor ever did in his three seasons in the Premier League. So just keep that in mind. We're talking about Josh Sargent being completely out of form. It's like, well, he's better than the greatest USA striker ever, apparently. So uh, Josh Sargent... He's been really good at scoring goals in the second tier of competition. Uh, last season in, I believe, four goals in the second tier, against second tier opposition, be it the, the start of the season with Bremen or cup games with Norwich, he got four goals in four games. So I do expect him to be scoring goals at a really high rate. And just as a player, his profile, I think it fits our striker position really well. He presses very well, and he's relatively creative at that striker position. He offers everything that we really want out of, out of a player, and if the goals really start to come back for him, it's going to be hard to deny him a spot on the team. i say at his best, only Ricardo Pepe seems to have a higher ceiling than Josh Sargent. But uh, Pepe, he hasn't exactly stood out in the Bundesliga. So if Josh Sargent, he's able to get going, I would really like to see him in the national team because I feel like he's a player who we really great. And he's been good for a long time. There's a reason why he's been looked at as the starter for basically a really long time until this very year. So... I really want to see Josh Sargent back to the team, and hopefully he has a great season with Norwich. Uh, Daryl DK, he's a bit different because he's kind of always been a goal machine, but I don't think Burhalter really likes him because uh, DK, he his strengths are more with his athleticism and his finishing uh, rather than his technical ability, which I feel like his technical ability is pretty underrated, but I don't think it's at the level of like a Hayes Ferreira, Josh Sargent, or Ricardo Pepe's hold-up play because that uh, Burhalter really doesn't seem to know how to get the best out of a Daryl DK. And I feel like he doesn't really want him in the team. And because of that, I really don't see uh, DK getting back in the team unless he has a crazy goal-scoring season, which is very possible. But honestly, with Daryl DK, I'm honestly, like, I really wanted him in the team for a while leading up to this World Cup. But then the draw happened because with Daryl DK, he creates so many mismatches with just how strong he is, how good he is in the air. His overall athleticism, it's going to be tough for a lot of defenses to deal with. That was my thinking, but then we drew two British teams. Two British teams that know how to deal with a physical striker. Like, I was really hoping we'd get a group kind of more like uh, the group that Canada has, where, well, I wouldn't want that, but with teams similar to that, where a striker like DK would be really valuable, and he would create those mismatches. But with how many games we're playing against really physical teams... I don't really think, feel like there's a need to advocate for him as much anymore. I still like him back to the national team after the World Cup because he is a player I am really high on and I want to see him do well, but I don't think it's going to happen for this particular World Cup. But if he starts getting crazy goal scoring for him, anything's possible. But probably not going to happen. So yeah, that's really my thoughts on Daryl DK and Josh Sargent. I just want to talk about this real quick. Those are two players who are really forgotten about despite being really good players. Uh, Josh Sargent especially, I'd really like to get him back into the team because I really see him as a better version of Hayes' Ferreira, and I don't really see Ferreira doing much at the World Cup, so I'd like to give an opportunity to a Josh Sargent who really has done well at international tournaments before. He's proven he can score at a high level, so I'd really like to see him back into the team, and hopefully he's able to get into really good form for Norwich and make something happen. And yeah, that's all I have to talk about right now. Pretty short video today, but just wanted to get a quick message out, and yeah, see ya.